Okay, today's lesson, lesson five here, is uh, convection. And uh, so, on well, this diagram to the left here, really, um, shows what it's all about, really. So, there's a circulation of the molecules, so in this particular one there, as you can see, where it says here, so your warm water rises, goes to the top, as this becomes less dense, so it moves to the top, and then when it gets to the, the, the cooler water that's at the top, that uh, descends, goes down. So, um, and that same thing happens with gases as well. So, as I've meant to written on the right there, it's a circulation of the molecules. Um, so, we can actually force the circulation if we want to by using fans and things like that. Alright, so, yes, that's about it. So, like, as I said, you know, we can force it with fan. So, a fan in our heater, for example. Um, can you know force or aid the circulation? Um, the heat. All right. Um, and so, by doing that, the heat will you know go around your home for more, far more um, quickly and efficiently than uh, it would if you, know, you just allowed natural convection currents. All right, and so that's about it. So we're at problem set five now. All right, problem set five. In your notes, don't forget. My notes are on the, on the website, um, Physics with Sino. And don't forget, there's also the convection video for you to watch.